it's me, Mikey Pipes. <sighs> wow, <laughs> it's Tuesday, September 5th, 2023, and I just had to get out of the pool. And you may ask, why? Why, Mikey Pipes? Why are you getting out of the pool? Well, the question's very simple. I really believe in branding. Keep that in mind. I believe in branding. And later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so I'm pulling up to my, I don't wanna call it an emergency service call, but a service call that came in about 10 minutes ago. I was getting out of the pool, um, gonna you know, do some processing for uh, a YouTube video, and the phone call came in, and we have a, an existing property, but a, uh, a new, new owner. And their air conditioning is out. So I was like, all right, you know what? Um, we, can give you, we can get you tomorrow afternoon between 1 and 3. Or uh, how about in 10, 15 minutes from now? And they're like, oh my God, 10, 15 minutes from now? I was like, that's right, baby. You call Pipe Doctor. Get what you pay right, for. Come in. So good to see you. Thank you for coming. You're very welcome. Bless you. <laughs> no, it's kind of warm in here, though. Oh <laughs> For my pleasure. Oh my my God, pleasure. That's what they say. All right. I love it when I have an existing property and then yeah. the new owners call. I've been servicing this property for about 15 years. I, I, met up. I, told I said, him. let me look in the look. files. I'm going to find who installed it. I'm going to find yeah. where I'm going to get the people who know it. We did the, the boiler after Sandy, and that was that was, uh, that was I, quite an experience. I said 2013, everything is going to be <laughs> sand, you know, Sandy, Sandy. So last night we had. It was working fine. Okay. The cold air was coming out of the vans and everything. And then what happened? Sometime during the day today, the temperature just started setting. Is any air coming out of the vents still? I just shut the unit off. Okay. Because when I was and now we're feeling like a little bit, but like before there was nothing. I noticed something on the outside of the property. He's like ready to kick me because I said this so many times and he's like, this has nothing to do with that. There's a like thing that looks like an exhaust thing that's like hanging down. Outside? Outside that shouldn't be there, that wasn't there before. Okay. Okay. Let me go take a peek okay. outside. Let me get my shoes on. Yep. <laughs> so I shut the unit off. Was this running in. when... It uh, was running. The fan was moving. The coils were not frozen. It's okay. not warm, not cold. I did not touch... Uh, Anything. The, okay. The but your wife had mentioned that the air... You feel the air was coming out with the same intensity inside, or the was it less? The coming out of the vent, it's not the same intensity. It wasn't, it, okay. the fan, the fan was spinning, it wasn't going 100, it was going 60. You know, out, out, this one outside? This one outside. Okay, very good. All right, now show me what, uh, she's referring to. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's a fart vent from the bathroom. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> That's a very, uh, unique way of saying it. That. All right, so there was something there. That's our bathroom. Yes. This is it. So there was, there was. This is the dryer. You probably had something here at one point, and now for some reason it's gone. Okay. Um, go to the thermostat. Yeah. Let's turn it on. I'm gonna. I, I also want turn, to observe this. I could turn the nest. Perfect. Right here. Yeah, because they had nests. Yeah. I'm probably left them for you. And let's see what this does. Off. We're gonna turn it to cool. Seventy-three. Okay. Uh, Alright. Oh, uh, you heard... You didn't hear the compressor for that split second, but then it came on. We have hot air coming inside. Uh, so right now, the unit, the system thinks it's on, so yeah. just check the vents. Make sure they're, if they feel weak, weaker than they normally are, that's a problem. But okay. I don't see any ice, so it's... Here's what we have. We have the master bedroom vent. Yeah. It has the most beautiful flow. Because it's right next to the air handler. The other vents in the house. Yeah, because they're like, further away. Yeah. Well, there's only one system for the whole house. Okay. And I get that. At one point, this system had had a major leak. Okay. And it's R, it's used free on R22, yeah. which is phased out. And I want to say, I can look it up, but probably a good four four years ago, mm -hmm. um, they called because it needed free on again. Yeah. And this time, I was like, you know what? We're going to look for the leak. Mm -hmm. because it was like, I don't know, hundreds of dollars a pound or whatever it was. And we found the lake was up in the attic and we yeah. fixed it and we recharged it and we haven't been back since. Okay. And next thing I knew, they sold the house <laughs> and I was like, all right, awesome. <laughs> so I'll get my tools, see what's going Absolutely. on with that One and we'll go from there. Out. All right, so here we are out this outdoor unit. And one of the things that I'm noticing is that we have this shore start. 
Okay. And I don't hear the compressor running right now. I don't. It was running and then it turned off. And someone added that. Hmm. Alright, 7.1. 7.4. And let's check our fan. 1.5. Go back to here, all right? Set that right there. All right, 93 degrees, and it is 87 degrees out, so it's blowing out ambient temperature. Let's get the pressure gauges and check. All right, so we have the Testo Smart Probes on our suction and our discharge line. Um, there are the pressures. We're using 7.4 amps of power, but. See? You didn't hear that compressor turn off and our pressures are still the same. Our amperage is at zero. Let's set that to max and let's plug this back in. And listen. So the compressor turns on. We max at 67.2 amps of power. Right now we're at 19.4. Our pressures are stabilizing, maybe. Low side is dropping considerably. High side may have a dirty coil. And there goes our compressor. Compressor turned off. And I got something to do with this. Uh-oh, flashing something. Solid flash. What does this stupid solid flash do? Hmm. Oh, well, we got something to do with this bad boy right here. We got a little. All right, so we have what appears to be a soft, soft starting device. And I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. It's doing um, that. Uh, one flash a second is cycle delay or fault, but. It's preventing compressor to be running, so it's a problem. Um, okay, we have the red wire going to run winding, which is R, and we have, this is the run capacitor, and this is active, whatever that is. And that goes there. We're gonna have to wire this, rewire this, so let me focus on that. All right, this is gone, right? It's basically a glorified hockey puck, see? Um, <clears throat> I took my red wire, which was run. Was the red wire run? Let's see. You know, always go to the, yep, always go to the schematic. So there's our compressor. R is run. So my red wire went to run. My orange wire went to common on my dual capacitor. Um, everything else stayed the same. I just got rid of that stupid thing. Um, let's see what happens. My contact is still pulled in. Okay. Um, let's take our clamp on multimeter again. Let's just stick it there. Let's set it to read my amperage again. Let's set it to read maximum. And let's plug in our disconnect. Okay, here we go. Yep, yeah, baby. That's right. Well, wow, what a difference that starting device soft start device makes 130 amps on the max side right now we're at 20.9 so our lras <laughs> wow you know what i think this really could benefit from a hard start quite possibly um but let's see if the compressor stays running. While the system is running, let's do a dynamic uh, test of the, comp of the dual capacitor to make sure that's within range. All right, I have my Testo Smart Probe still on. Um, we're gonna use the HVAC school uh, test app and we're gonna do a capacitor under load test. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test for voltage across the capacitor. Okay, well that's very easy. We can hook up our multimeter right there and we hook up out one line to common 
and one line to Herm because we want to test the uh, the Herm side first. So let's test that. All right, so I have my Fluke 902 FC hooked up to Common and then also to Herm, and I'm getting 350. So let's go here. Voltage across capacitor, 350. Let's check for amperage across those windings. So let's take this off. Let's go to amperage. Let's go to that purple wire. And we're getting 10. Okay. So let's type in 10. And I'm unsure of the size of this. So let's just type in 50. And let's see what it calculates. So it's calculating at 75.8. And I'm also willing to wager this is a 75 uh, dual capacitor. This is a five ton system. Yep, sure is. Five ton R22 system. Um, <laughs> yeah. What do you want to bet? That coil looks pretty filthy. Let's go see. Let's go see how filthy that coil is. Let's see, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> see you, ladies and gentlemen, September 5th, and we're still seeing fur coats. Wow. <laughs> and uh, 10 after 5 in the evening. All right. Um, let's see. What I want to do right now. Discharge temperature 122.7. <laughs> you know she's working. She's working hard. So I address the immediate concern right now, which is the soft starting device or whatever you want to call that sure start stupid thing that failed and prevented operation. And they're schwitzing inside like momsers. See, if I see a hose nearby, I'm inclined to do a quick little PM. Oh, no hose nearby. That sucks. That really does suck. If there was a hose nearby, I'd really be inclined. But, uh-oh. Do I see a hose right here? Let's see. Oh, almost was your lucky day. It almost was your lucky day. All right. Well, my job right now is complete. We got them up and running. We're gonna schedule some maintenance with them. And, uh, you know, All right. go from there. So earlier in the video, when I left my house, leaving the pool to come here and give another homeowner, another client, another new homeowner, some satisfaction and making sure that their, their hot wife would no longer be hot, they'll be cool. Remember, if your wife is hot, better get the AC fixed. Uh, I was talking about branding. You see this? See the sticker right this here? My sticker. And if you look underneath it, you can even see my original sticker with my old phone number behind it, right? This is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this service call right here is for the last week, last seven days. This is the third uh, new customer existing property that we've serviced because of stickers just like this one ladies and gentlemen if you're in the hvac industry you're a manager you're a technician if you're not putting your brand on the equipment that you're serving you're leaving money on the table stop leaving money on the table you put a sticker on it's very easy easy peasy stoli don't you agree always put stickers Always put stickers on your equipment. That's Mikey Pipes, tech tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. There's no cost or obligation. The Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, mm, the Big Daddy Cabana. I suggest you Google it for the 50,000 subscriber pool party, which uh, will be soon. Oh, yes. I'm not, I'm not messing around this time.